Thanks for joining us. We are live at five, ready to get your thoughts on the story we have today. But first, remember to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook if you want to get in on the conversation. I'm here with Caitlin Ross and Cheryl Preheim. Ladies, we are talking about a story today. I feel like it comes up at least once a year, especially around the holiday season. What to do about religious expressions, especially at city buildings, government buildings, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. A holiday controversy, and this time it's in the city of Dunwoody. They are saying there should be no religious symbols in government buildings. The Dunwoody city attorney is pushing to ban nativity scenes, menorahs, and any other religious items during the holiday season. He claims those symbols violate the Constitution. But this is an interesting little caveat. Holiday trees, wreaths, and Santa will still be allowed. Employees would still be able to keep religious symbols at their desks in their offices. A lot of people not happy about this at all. Looks like he presented it with a little bit of compromise in there, but I think the areas of compromise is what makes it sort of confusing. Well, some people say you call it a holiday tree, but it's still a Christmas tree, and Santa and wreaths imply Christmas, which might as well just be an endorsement of one religious holiday over another. Right, a lot of people are weighing in on this. I posted it on my Facebook page, and I want to bring up some of these comments here because I think a lot of people were really insightful. We'll start with Lynn, who says, separation of church and state. If you allow Christmas trees in a government building, then you must be open to all other religious symbols being displayed. That seems fair to me, Lynn. Interesting that Lisa Amore puts in her thoughts here saying, kind of hard to totally ban religion when In God We Trust is on plaques everywhere. One has to swear in a Bible before giving truthful testimony. It's already murky. Yeah, so I think once you introduce all of that, the conversation just really gets to the point where you're like, what do you do? Right. What are we saying here? Are you choosing one over the other? Let's jump to the final comment here. This one is coming in from Steven. So Steven says, have to agree with majority here. Ban all or ban none. You cannot discriminate against one without looking hypocritical. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see mm -hmm. how this one moves through. Because a, a Kwanzaa display, a menorah, a nativity scene, all or nothing. As far as the city attorney of, of Dunwoody is saying, hey, there have been other times the Supreme Court has weighed in on this and has come after municipalities that have had religious symbols because they say it can be a violation of the Constitution the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment that bans government from endorsing a specific religion. And my guess is if this continues on this path, we're going to end up seeing this elevated to a higher court because people are going to weigh in on this on both sides. There are often organizations from outside the state that end up filing lawsuits on behalf of their religious organization or their right to not have any religious displays. So it's going to be interesting to see who decides to weigh in on this one. No I question. will say one of my favorite parts about school, maybe not so much in the workplace or like a government building, has been learning other cultures yeah. around the holiday time you know if you have yeah. a friend who believes different like oh how do you celebrate mm -hmm. or what do you do or what does the menorah mean or like right. you know explain to me Kwanzaa so I think it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out we are gonna keep an eye on yes. it we want to know what you think about this story go ahead and leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel we post here every weekday same time also follow us on social media to get your comments on the show it's all about you guys helping us drive the conversation we'll see you back tomorrow have a good day Thank you.